Welcome to Hydesville Tower School, a place where you and your child will feel one of the family. It is a pleasure and a privilege for me to introduce this video. As headmaster of a school I know to be remarkable, I trust it will give you a flavour of what it is that makes this school magical. Hydesville gives children a chance to develop their academic understanding, develop a broad range of creative skills and experience a wide range of extracurricular opportunities. All of this happens within a strong pastoral structure, ensuring that children are in this school and feel happy and safe. We understand our role is to help your child to become the best possible version of themselves. To do this, we recognise the importance of character education, helping them to develop the confidence and the caring side of their personalities, being able to be part of a team or sometimes to lead that team. We understand that the leaders of the future are going to be coming from our classrooms. As a member of the Global Schools Group Cognita, we benefit from fantastic collaborations with schools around the world. We never lose sight of the benefit of developing a global perspective in our children, and these collaborations enhance both the teaching and the learning for our children. I hope you enjoy the video and we really look forward to welcoming you to the Hydesville family. Hello, I'm Mrs Smith, Head of Nursery at Hydesville Tower School and I'm very proud today to be able to take you on a journey around our wonderful nursery. First of all, we're going to go into the cedar tree room. This is where it all happens at 8 o'clock and Breakfast Club begins. And if you'd like to follow me, we'll meet the team and see where the magic begins. As you can see, the children are enjoying a variety of breakfast items. Now I'm going to take you through to our nursery library and conservatory. Here is a wonderful area. This is where the children come and they have downtime. They also, um, we also have small group sessions and the children can enjoy a book and story time. So they thought very hard and very long and then they sent me a, a dog. A dog, a baby dog is called a puppy. And he was just right. Perfect. Just right. Shall we keep him? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's keep it. Now I'm going to take you into our N2 classrooms and let's go meet the nursery team and the children. Good morning to Jiswa, how are you? Good morning Evie, how are you? Good morning Waris, how are you? How are you today? At nursery we have five key workers, five practitioners and five key groups. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Mrs Jones who's key group worker for the red group. And as you can see she's enjoying herself there with the children. And the children are fishing and playing one of their child initiated games. Um, also, I'm a practitioner and I'm a key group worker too. I am key group worker for the green group. Normally, I do my adult led activities on the green group table over there. As you can see, we have a little girl who's playing uh, her self chosen activity within the sand. Um, at the moment, we are covering animals as part of our theme. And as you can see on the walls, the children have been looking at the story of the Gruffalo. So we've done lots of activities that featured around the Gruffalo. The children have made their own Gruffalo picture, they've decided their favourite character and we've put speech bubbles around their comments that they've made when they've been involved in their activities. Um, all of the children's um, activities are recording on 
online learning journal called Tapestry. So parents are able to tap in and put in their codes and look uh, to see what the children have been doing throughout the day. During the mornings we have uh, structured adult-led lessons where we spend some time with the children and we have structured activities which are based around our topic which is animals and during the afternoons we have a variety of child initiated play as you can see at the moment the children are involved in their child initiated play we've got a number of activities out but the children have gone towards their self-chosen activity the activities that they are most interested in now I'm going to take you next door to the other N2 classroom and we'll go and meet the team. Now we're in our second N2 classroom, I'd like to introduce you to Mrs Willis. Nursery practitioner and key group worker for Blue Group, but she's also my deputy head of nursery. And over here we have Mrs Ward, who's key group worker, nursery practitioner for the Purple Group. As you can see here, the children are involved in their adult-led activities this morning. And we've got an autumn activity going on with Mrs Willis and it's sorting, which is incorporating numeracy too, but it's also themed with an autumn is mine theme. Mine picking the biggest or is yours the biggest? The biggest. Mine, mine is the biggest. This is also the room where the children hang their Can coats up and it number doubles number up number as number a clay number. cream. All the coat pegs are colour coded, so for instance if the children are in the red group they'll have a, a red peg, they'll have a green peg if they're in the green group. They also have a space, a pigeonhole and space for putting their belongings, which is just behind this screen here. In addition to the morning activities, the children also have a variety of other activities on offer. We have lunchtime clubs, we have ICT club, drawing club and art club. and. Every Monday afternoon the children take PE, also Tuesdays they have dancing and Fridays we have forest school. So this adult led activity is based around phonics, so in the nursery we teach the children phonics. The children are involved in a mark making activity where they're making marks within the shaving foam. Every Monday we introduce the children to a new sound. We call it Sound of the Week. And we also introduce them to Storytime Phonics. So for instance, if that the sound of the week is ah, 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 we'll read the story of Abraca Zebra to reinforce the sound throughout the story. The children then generally follow up on another mark making or phonic activity which is very practical. And now I'm going to take you back to the cedar tree room where we can meet our very youngest children. And I'm going to reintroduce you to Miss Parker who's key group worker for the yellow group. And this is where some of our very youngest children play and get involved in their child initiated activities. A lot of the activities for the very younger children are very, very practical. As you can see, Miss Parker has an activity out and it does have a learning intention to that activity. Also, um, Miss Parker is also accompanied by Miss Thatcher, who is our nursery TA, and she assists Miss Parker in the room with the younger children. Well, 
welcome to Nursery Extracurricular ICT Club. This is where the children get involved in a variety of ICT games on the iPads with the practitioners. Uh, they also have the opportunity to um, work on the interactive whiteboards and the PCs. So they have a variety of different ICT equipment which will be alternated through the clubs on the different days. Welcome to a very special outdoor classroom. This is where the children come for our forest school activities. Every, every Friday, the children put on their waterproof all-in-ones and their wellingtons and they get involved in lots of forest school activities. As you can see, it's a very, very fun adventure playground for the children. On the, the Fridays the children don't come to the outdoor classroom, we go into the Arboretum and we have fun with the ranger who we forge links with. And the ranger prepares a variety of forest school activities. For example, the children are involved in making bread in the Arboretum. They toast marshmallows. They make mini beasts, houses and houses for elves and fairies down to feeding the ducks. It's all very safe and well planned and a risk assessment is made by the school and by the ranger. The children really value the time that they spend in the outdoor classroom and the arboretum and you see some of the children come alive, especially those children who, who love practical activities. You can really see them coming into their own. And we are so lucky to have the Arboretum on our back doorstep. It's a very useful resource for us to take to the children, especially when they're going to forest school. Follow me and I'll show you. At 11.30, it's nursery lunchtime. This is where the children come together in their own environment and enjoy a hot meal. Those children with special dietary requirements will have their own placemats to indicate so. For one afternoon a week, the children have dancing with Mrs Townsend, our teacher that comes in and teaches them street dance and a selection of other fitness type activities which keep the children really fit and healthy and helps with their physical development. The children really enjoy their PE lessons. The children take part in lots of physical movement, music and movement. Um, today the children are going to move like animals. As you can see there's an obstacle course set up encouraging the children to crawl, shuffle and move around. Physical education is one of the prime areas and very important in the early age foundation stage curriculum. At 3.20, the children who are attending the nursery for core hours then go to their coat pegs and put their coats on, ready to go home. And it's the end of a very happy day. It has been a pleasure to share with you our remarkable school. We'd love you to become a part of the Hydeville family. A member of our admissions team will be in touch shortly. Bye for now.